everyone, we're here from the Topps Company doing a case break today on Topps Star Wars Illustrated The Empire Strikes Back. I'm Mark Von Olin, I'm the brand manager. And I'm David Waldeck, product development. We are here today to break open uh, half a case of Star Wars Topps Illustrated Empire Strikes Back. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com official Top Star Wars, you can enter our contest to win some of the hits that we're going to be opening from this box. Um, so we're just going to jump right in, and as we go, we'll describe to you the contents of the product. All right, here comes the first one. All right, I'm going to take one, too. Take one, too? Yep. All right, this is what the box looks like in store. Um, I should mention that today is the street date, uh, Wednesday, April 29th. You can look for Illustrated Empire Strikes Back exclusively in hobby shops. Uh, this hobby box has two hits per box, so we'll be very excited when we get to those, and we'll be giving all those away uh, in social media. This is a sequel to the Star Wars Illustrated A New Hope set we did last year, which was originally based on the uh, NPR radio dramas that aired in the 1980s. So because of the, uh, the basis of the radio drama, you get some new scenes, some new content, some expanded scenes. So there's a little more in there than um, just a retelling of the movie, which is very exciting. And it's all new artwork. Um, Dave, you should tell the audience who our uh, key designers are for the set, our artists. Well, the two main artists for the base set are Randy Martinez, who did this card, and this card, and Matt Bush, who did this card, and this card. Awesome. And back to Randy for this card. Very cool. And we also have art by Grant Gould, who did the one year earlier cards, which is uh, characters from Empire Strikes Back, uh, where they were approximately one year before the movie took place. And all three artists also worked on last year's set as well. Another Randy card. Matt. Vader's surprise. Pursuit of Fett. Oh, we got a purple parallel here. Master Yoda's great power. Oh, fantastic. And the parallels are purple, bronze, and gold. And another one year earlier. Oh, terrific. So let's keep all of the inserts in one pile. We'll see if we can build a whole set of inserts. That's so that one. So far we've got Boba Fett and IG-88. Ooh, we've got two of the bounty hunters so far. And I just opened my pile over here, and I also got a one year earlier, and this looks like Captain Piet. Um, and then in my set, I'm just going to show you guys quickly some of the cards. Um, you can see behind us, actually, the uncut sheet of everything. I wanted to give you guys a sense of the artwork. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's Han and Carbonite. Very exciting. All right, um, base cards here. All right, so one big difference this year is that the set ha carries the Legends banner, which is due to uh, Lucasfilm's clearing of all the previous expanded universe and starting over with A New Dawn and the Marvel comics and everything. Uh, part of that stuff that was cleared off were the radio dramas. Uh, so this is now bounced into that legacy category, which is which is fine. Um, but it was a little, it was, makes it a little different from last year's. Okay, I got some more story cards here. Another purple parallel. Oh, nice. Oh, I have a great story card right here. Luke's bitter defeat. And it's right before he loses his hand. Oh, another purple parallel. This is Dinner at the Hut, so on Dagobah with Yoda. Another one year earlier. And I just found a different insert. This is a movie poster reinterpretation. Yeah. Okay. I'll do this one. This is by Doug Cowan. And we'll make sure we get up for you guys um, a picture of the entire base set. It's 100 base cards, plus the three different inserts that we mentioned. The movie poster reinterpretations, the mission capture Skywalker, and the one year earlier set. Plus all of the different hits that are to come soon. Got one year earlier Yoda. Awesome in the stack. Got an awesome Vader by Randy. Vader's Dark Truth.
monster in space by Matt. Very cool. <clears throat> All right. New hand, new mission. That's actually the last card in the set. That's card 100. Um, that's by Matt Bush. We've got uh, Luke doing his Jedi training out on Dagobah. That one's by Randy. There's Princess Leia, also by Randy. Um, oh, here we go. The, um, the Tauntaun, also by Randy, when they're out on Hoth. And then one year earlier card, Darth Vader. If, you, if anybody was at Celebration, we uh, we had this whole sheet set up so you could have checked out the set there. We also had Randy and Matt at our booth, uh, so thank you guys. Hope you guys are watching this too. Uh, we had them come by to the booth and, and sign cards for us of an exclusive oh, mini I've set. I've got a that different insert. I have another movie poster reinterpretation. Oh, I really like this one. This one is by Chad McGowan. Very cool. Add this to the poster stack. I'm going to flip through these and see if I have any other parallels. Not yet. Oh, but I found a Boba Fett card. Boba Fett on the spot. Everyone, I think everyone's favorite bounty hunter, right? Probably not really up for debate on that one. Cool Luke. Rogue Leader card by Matt Bush. Got four long. One year earlier. Oh, nice. And there are 18 one year earlier? Yeah. Okay. Got more story cards. Oh, we've got the kiss. Han and Leia. And then another movie poster reinterpretation. This one is by Jason Crosby. Cool. We should give away the inserts too, so we'll try to give some of these away as well. We've got a pack that was all Matt Bush story cards. Oh, wow. Got a straight, straight, straight flush. flush of Bush. <laughs> nice. And uh, C3PO and R2D2 one year earlier. Excellent. What were those two up to? I feel like they're, they're, they're everywhere, right? They're in, they made it into all six of the movies. Um, okay. Got Yoda. Oh, I like this one. Luke's Vision. This is a great card. Nearing the end. Oh. Iconic I Know. And then, there's my one year earlier. Uh, Dengar. There go. All right. Walkers on the North Ridge. Some Dukes. Another Vader one year earlier. Oh, here we go. I found Lando Calrissian one year earlier. My first Lando card. Oh, here we go. I got a hit. We have a sketch card for Empire Strikes Back, for Illustrated Empire Strikes Back from Art O'Callaghan. Mm -hmm. Hold that up. We'll be giving this away to one lucky winner. Very exciting. And there's the back, actually, you can see. So um, when you get a sketch card, you've got your little congratulatory note, and then the artwork on the front, his signature's at the bottom. So we'll put this over here to give away. Cool Darth Vader card by Randy. The Millennium Falcon departs. You see the falcon in his lenses. Oh, that's neat. Kind of similar to those Christian Wagoner pieces by Acme. Acme. And for anyone who's a fan of the Wampa, here he is right here looking big and menacing. We've got uh, Luke Skywalker's one year earlier. I didn't get to my hit yet. Either one. Oh, I've got my second hit. Oh, this is the case. This is the box over here. All right. This is our first film relic. So, congratulations, you have received an authentic film relic from Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. And I'm going to see if the, the light can hit this just... Oh, did you get one, too? Yeah, I just got Look one. Look at that. Well. That's fantastic. So, I'm going to see if the light can hit this correctly so you guys can see. That looks like the right way to see it. If you look really close in the small box, um, you can see the film cell. And this looks like a scene from within the Millennium Falcon. And this is Very R2 cool. plugging into the data terminal at Cloud City. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hard to, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on there. But I see the wall and I see the the panel. That's definitely R2. It felt late. Oh, and you've got... Okay. And it's paired with Lando and Chewie because they're escaping. <coughs> Very cool. 
All right, I'll give you this one, too. We'll be giving both of those away. I love the film cell relics. Oh, my insert. I don't know if we saw him yet. This is Zuckus. One year earlier. Also by Grant Gould. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got my other hit here. A Stephanie Swanger panoramic card. Oh, panoramic. Han Solo. That's very cool. So uh, we should mention the hits that are included in this product. Um, you've seen a few already. They're the film cell relics, which are all from The Empire Strikes Back. We also have standard size sketch cards um, that you saw earlier. And then the panoramic sketch card, which is kind of like a book. Uh, that one is, those are in there as well. We also have artist autographs uh, from Randy and Matt, who um, worked on the set, obviously. And there are also printing plates. Um, those are the, the big hits for the set. Oh, and sketchographs. So you'll also find the combination sketch card plus actor autograph. Um, so look for those sketchographs. We have a, a great stack in there, including Billy Dee Williams, Anthony Daniels, Peter Mayhew, a bunch of the voice actors from the radio drama like Paul Hecht and Peter Friedman. Um, we'll post the entire list up on the Facebook page. We haven't hit a Search for Skywalker card yet. Oh, I just got one. The mission, Capture Skywalker, and here is Yoda. And I guess he was technically not on the hunt of Skywalker, but this is where Luke escaped to, onto Dagobah, to go meet Yoda and begin his Jedi training. So he's certainly a critical character um, in, the, in the role. Some, I mean, some of the descriptions are a little obscure, or some of the reasons why they were, why they contributed to the search for Skywalker, but we think they all make sense. Yeah, and it's all the main characters, and these are actually taken from the film. So as you can see, um, this is obviously a movie still, not illustrated, so you'll see uh, clips from the film. Got a, another purple parallel. Millennium Falcon departs. Nice. And we have John Williams' favorite bounty hunter. Ah, uh, there's Bosk. Bosk. Why does John love Bosk so much? That is the question. I don't know. All right, we've got so more reptilian feet. Here we are um, arriving in Cloud City. It's a great card of that sort of orange color. Oh, and Chewy, so angry. And then another movie poster reinterpretation. This one is Mike Mayhew. Who just did the uh, the Star Wars book for Dark Horse last year. We have Darth Vader's Capture Skywalker card. Nice. Oh, here we go. This is the movie poster. That This is actually the cover of the box. Um, so this was done by Jerry Vanderstelt. Um, can you see it? It's a little dark from here. And in fact, I'm going to hold up the whole box just so you can see it. Ah, this is the full box. And this is what you should look for in stores. As we had mentioned, um, Wednesday, April 29th, today is the street date, available in hobby shops nationwide. You can go to actually tops.com uh, to find a hobby store in your uh, neighborhood. Yeah, when you, go to, when you go to pick up your Princess Leia comic, make sure you buy some of this as well. Exactly. Ah. Oh, that is great. <laughs> the expression on Leia's face is fantastic. And again, here was that movie poster card. We'll be giving this one away, too. Just to the inserts. Oh, uh, is this a, this is a bronze parallel, right? That's I'm trying right. trying to see it in the, in the light. There's bronze... We can give this away. I'll put this over here at the rest of my... I've got a purple parallel. We've got some inserts, some hits to give away. Got some snow troopers. Pretty cool. Nice. And I should mention, uh, in every pack... I'm going to hold up the pack. You can buy them by the pack if you like. Um, a lot of hobby shops do sell them by the pack. You get six cards. Um, and then in a box, there are 24 packs with a guaranteed <coughs> two hits. Oh, here are all the bounty hunters. This might be my favorite card in the whole set. It's got, ev it's got everyone's favorite people in there. Boba Fett, Bosk, IG-88. Luke balancing stones. During his Jedi training. Oh, I've got another purple parallel. And this is R2 and Luke as they're getting ready to go to Dagobah for training. And then, mm. funny enough, the, the poster 
is Dagobah. So there's Yoda um, in, in his home world uh, with Tom Hodges. Tom Hodges did the design. And that was actually, that was based on the radio drama poster. The radio drama poster? Very cool. By Ralph McQuarrie. Ralph McQuarrie's influence is everywhere. It's pretty awesome. The duel continues. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Chris Trevis. That's a great card. His uh, poster reinterpretation. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, this is one of my favorite cards in the whole set. This is Princess Leia when they're inside um, the belly of the beast and they see, um, what are these things called? The, the Minox in the cave. Um, just the expression on her face is fantastic. And then my one year earlier card that I got was Forlom. Another Downey Hunter. Here's an awesome card from, which is actually card number one, which the radio drama starts a little bit differently than the film. And this is uh, Renegade Flight. So you got a bunch of X-Wing and uh, Rebel Transports in there. And I got uh, Tony Harris's poster reinterpretation. Tony did Ex Machina, among many other things. He's a powerhouse illustrator. And there are ten of those. Ten movie poster reinterpretations. So we're, we're nearing in on those. Right, I got an awesome... Cloud Bespin Arrival with a couple cloud cars and the Millennium Falcon. Nice. I love that orange. Oh, another movie poster. This is a different one. Kevin Graham. I don't think we saw this one yet. We did. Oh, we did? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think we're good with the movie posters. Excellent. Another purple parallel. The Mission car mission Capture Skywalker. The probe droid, obviously. Very important in tracking down Commander Skywalker. There were thousands of them. Oh, I was wrong. We've got another movie poster card here. The wonderful Mike Allred did one. Check it out. It's totally awesome. Oh, here's more of Han's torture. So we saw it in the Capture Skywalker, <laughs> and now we've got the illustrated version. <laughs> another purple parallel. Cool. Princess Leia in the Mission Capture Skywalker. So okay, look what I found. Stuff. We've got a gold parallel entering the star field. Or the asteroid field. Right. Let me see that. Alright. It looks nice. It's good. Yeah. Entering the asteroid field. I've just been getting dupes, nothing. Oh, got an autograph. Here. All right, look what I found. We've got an artist autograph from Matt Bush. So as you can see, we had them sign stickers, and then we applied them to the cards that they designed. So this card right here is Through the Force, which is how Luke is able to contact Leia. And this is one of the cards that Matt drew. So we'll be giving this away. 